Oh, man, it's really dark here. So, hey, everyone. Uh, it's Eric here from MacFix. Got another video for you guys today. We got a MacBook that's been in here for repair. Man, it's really dark. Ooh. Yeah, we'll call this Late Night with Lapfix, I think. That would be a good title for this video, huh? <laughs> we have it. It's actually pretty dark outside. It's like it's like 7.30 right now, so it's pretty late. And it's on a Friday, of course. Yep, that's how we do. We're here. But we got a MacBook in here for repair. Now, it's interesting. The customer actually replaced the battery on this, and now it's giving a problem. It's not giving... Uh, sometimes it actually the battery actually has like a X over it. Uh, let's actually just go ahead and take a look at the symptoms here. So if I try to turn this on... Let's go see. Screen's a little bit messy. I don't know if it will turn on. Sometimes it might give a problem, but let's see if it turns on. Uh, if not, maybe I need to juice the battery for like a second, but let's see. All right, so I got plugged in there. We're getting 20 volts and like 0.3 amps, and the thing's shorting out for some reason. Let's see. Okay, so we get it to turn on. I could probably unplug it, right? Yep. So it uh, looks like at least it is holding a charge. It, rec it does recognize that there is a charge there going through. Um, but what's going to happen now, the fans are going to actually kick up. It's going to stay at this logo for a while. Uh, that's the symptoms here for it. And uh, it's going to get really laggy. Like the trackpad is going to get very, very laggy. It's going to get very slow. And it's going to take forever really to turn on. Um, so I'm going to wait because I know it's going to take some time. And the fans are going to kick up too. So let's see. Pretty much almost 100% fans. And we still are stuck at the logo there. Now, this isn't like an operating system problem. This is usually when you hear something like this. This is a problem maybe with a connection that's been disconnected. Um, uh, it could be like a trackpad disconnected. It could be also maybe trackpad damaged. Maybe the cable is damaged. Or maybe the keyboard is damaged. The keyboard connection is damaged. Since this is a battery, we're expecting probably something around the battery area. It could be the trackpad or it could be uh, maybe the trackpad or the battery connection. So let's go ahead and see. Actually, let's open it up. I'm just going to actually leave it on like this too. So I have this open. It's still on. See that the fans are going at 100% speed and there's a problem there. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure that I let's just actually disconnect the battery here. Let's let's stop this. Okay, we're going to do that and we're also going to disconnect the main power. Okay, I know it's really dark, so please uh, bear with me here. We're just about to go, but I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the battery connection. This is the plus and minus. I want to make sure that's out. And I want to lift this up. So there has to be a problem, right? And actually, I see something a little bit right here right now. Let's actually go under the microscope, and we'll go ahead and, uh, and take a look at it and see what's going on. Actually, yeah. So I see something here. Um, this is interesting. It's on the actual battery connection itself. Oh, it's really dark. Let's go under the microscope. I'll go pull it over there. I think I'll make it better for you guys anyway. You see this? This is really bright. See this? There's a problem actually on this cable here. And what does it look like, huh? What is this here? There's this little speck here, right? And we see this speck actually is a problem. Now, this is also like a data line. So this can be giving a problem, right? It's communicating between the battery and the motherboard. So if this has a problem, uh, this whole laptop has a problem. Now, fortunately, we can actually remove this side over here. And we can actually disconnect this cable altogether. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to go bring it here. Now I have it off and I have the cable totally loose. Let's see what's going on here. So we see that there's actually a speck here. I'm not sure if it's a, some type of speck. Uh, it's like a cut or a tear. Um, and obviously the battery's been replaced. There's probably a little bit of a struggle here, but this got ripped off. Now this is really, really easy to, to damage. Because, why? Because when you have this here, if I put the MacBook out, right, so when you have, here's your plus and minus, and here's the, where the cable actually does go, because the cable goes back into to this. So, so I plugged it in here, and this is, there's a little uh, latch here, right? It closes. Now, if I'm trying to unplug this here while I'm trying to do it, it will be very easy, right, to tear this to come out. Um, if I'm struggling at all, or if I'm just shaking this left and right, and if I'm just really having a hard time, and this thing is just, just give me a problem. If I go like this, 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 if I wiggle, 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 if I pull, it's going to give a problem, especially if I don't understand that there's a latch here that holds it down. But if I pop open the latch, 
right? This should actually come loose. And this latch is also important too because it can definitely damage something else. Uh, it could damage the connection for where the battery goes, right? For the day line for the battery. So if you have any problems or if you're just trying to pull back on this, you see that if I tug, 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 and then I pull out, that would be extremely easy to actually damage. And that would give a problem here. So this cable is, is your culprit and that's why it's giving that problem. That's why uh, the fan spins are really loud because they recognize that something isn't actually connected. Now, this looks like the coating has actually been a bit damaged here. Um, for these, because uh, the, this is actually very lucky because a lot of the batteries actually do come with... Uh, actually, the batteries don't... Do they even come with it? Yeah, the batteries usually come with a replace, replacement one with these cables that are in there. And um, usually if you get another battery, you have that. Or obviously, if you're a shop like us, we can just do a replacement. And if I show you guys exactly what actually it looks like, uh, it would be really easy. And this is probably what the one should look like. So I do have a donor one over here, and that's important to be using the donor one it will fix it so here's the comparison difference right this should be all uh, totally beautiful here there shouldn't be any imperfections and that's that's your problem there and most likely again that's why it's showing the x over the battery that's why the fans are ramping up because there's a problem there it's not reading uh this line and this line isn't probably being detected uh it depends what the line is uh i'm not going to get it like a board view schematic just to explain it. it's like hey but you know it's super obvious damage there and you actually see it. If we just do a replacement one for this, this is going to take care of it. So let's go ahead and replace it and let's see how it's going to do. We can close it off there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Um, I believe this model, I think I have to plug it in first just to give it that initial juice. Oh, it's the course, the forgot password. Uh, of course it was. Okay, so that one, <laughs> it took a while because it, it thinks the password got reset. So. Let's actually just restart a watch. It'll pick up right away because when you get to this, it's like a recovery mode. So it'll do that. That's not good. Come on. You see, actually now it's good because, uh, oh, you guys can't see. But there is 100% battery in the corner now instead of an X. That's a good sign. Right? You see that? 100%. It was X before. So let's go ahead and just restart and watch how fast it's going to go now. It's going to go like that. That still even took a little while anyway. Da, da, da. Oh, ooh, okay. Whoa. All right. Calm down. It's yelling back. But let's see. There you go. Instant. Okay. I'm not going to show that because obviously the customer's name is there. And looks to be good. Because automatically it's really fast. We don't have those uh, fan spins that are really loud. Does The fans are barely moving. Now they're picking up a little bit. But looks to be good. Anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this dark video. This late night uh, lap fix video. Um, for the A2251 or just anyone who does replace like a battery connection just to, if, or anyone who does replace a battery just be careful there's lots of connections it's very easy to damage them as well it's a very simple mistake that can actually happen especially if you're tugging it nothing should require force there shouldn't be any type of struggle that's usually just a good um, thing to at least know that always especially for laptops computers those things there's probably something glued who knows what's going on there's an attachment there a screw whoever knows but um, it's a very simple uh, fix uh, at least for us, obviously, because we're a shop, we got uh, lots of parts here, lots of donor parts. We're able to fix stuff right away. It's good that we didn't have to do a battery replacement because they're not fun to do battery replacements on this one anyway. But man, the glue looks actually fantastic on this one, huh? But I'm not sure if they got OEM or whatever, but it looks to be good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Do lots of cool MacBook repairs. We like to show you guys cool software stuff as well. We do tech talks, do data recoveries, you name it. We've got it here. So hope you guys are watching. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.